What's up YouTube? I didn't know I just made a video on how to do the spiral, but today I'm showing you a, so far, what I have on my train track server, because I'm stuck in beta, so me and my brother play split screen on this, and this is my railway right here, that's going to be a military base later on. <clears throat> so here's all the tracks I have built, and thanks to Crafty Fox, I figured out how to build these rails like this. And this is my mm -hmm. own train design. I don't really. I based it off of a um, triple seven slash a few trains that CXX has. But yeah. now, if you're wondering why the command blocks in the front is, that's because this train naturally moves. And yes, you heard me correctly. It moves. Bit laggy, but it does indeed move, and it can pull cars. Not a whole lot, but it's useful. The thing is, it's still an experimental stage. If you want me to show you guys how to build a working train, let me know in the comments and I'll do that. So, there's a start of what my guess is Joshua's bridge. Because here's his track, here's his train I built him. Thanks to Crafty Fox, I kind of made my own design with that. This is our rocked, these, this is, um, Little Rock Town. That's my brother's house, slash, I don't know what the heck he did to it. But there's a few more houses. There's the car dealership. It's in the finished parking lot. These train tunnels. And these trains will vaporize anything that gets in its way. So I had to alter the tunnels and all that. Here's my brother's smelting pit attached to my track so I can deliver broken cars and stuff to him. That was a, car, a um, crate yard. And it's going to be moved over there to that line. So I took it to it in a minute. And that's also my train track. <clears throat> so yeah, I just figured I'd go ahead and show you guys all this. And most of this is all things with Crafty Fox, like this. He, I didn't add the red part, but he did show us how to build all that. It's my brother's lab I built him. This is just a little town that doesn't really have a name. <laughs> so don't ask me what Josh did over there, I do not know. That's my little switch track, I just kind of screwed it up. This track was used for our redstone trains, if you go back into my, my uh, YouTube channel somewhere in there, you'll find a piston slime moving train thing, and that's tracks for that one. So, uh, yeah, I used to use those on here until I came up with these engines, and yeah, this is my number two. As of right now, is my oldest, because my original number one, my first train I built on this railroad, is sitting right here. It's been retired and is now a museum, but I haven't removed it, so it still technically moves. That's the summary. I'll get to it in a minute. So here is my logging area. I spawned a few trees down there. And there's a few logging cars. The other one kind of got deleted because I backed up into it. And here's what the inside of my submarine looks like. It's an experimental redstone powered submarine that wasn't supposed to move, but it never came to be. So that's the result of it trying to. Here's the one that can, but it doesn't exactly work. It's still an experimental stage and doesn't exactly go in. Okay, that's the one that does that. Okay, so it does move. As you can see, but it has a tendency to mess up. So, yeah. It's nice and all, but the problem with it is that for whatever reason it copied this when I went into reverse. So that's why it doesn't have a reverse command anymore. Probably due to the fact that you can see part of it, but the redstone core is right here. And I accidentally powered it to the redstone core, so yeah, this thing can't go in reverse, but it can go forwards. But that's not a bad submarine, but don't say that that it can. Anyway, so yeah, that's my submarine, and I wish it would stop going tonight. The reason I don't switch it from all the way today or all that is because I like to have it nighttime from time to time. That's my warehouse. This is thanks to Crafty Box. I got an idea to upgrade the train. There are limits to how much you can put on it, because the more blocks you put on it, the less it can pull. So this one can't really pull a whole lot, but it's 
not really used a lot, so it's mainly for show. And because that one is for show. There's a few pickups down there. But yeah. The next track for the one it's hooked up to used to stop right here at this platform and then continued on. And I gotta say, I was really nervous to take out half my brother's thing here because it loves to take things away when it gets too close. But yeah, so this is my railroad server map thing. I named it Trends 2, so here's basically what that looks like. Me and my brother built this mountain by hand and it was not fun. <laughs> so we wanted a hill to put our trains through to have a tunnel and we're never building another one. <laughs> we were both like, we're done. So these things are hollow. This thing is hollow. Like if I break through here, you can see it's hollow. Just cheaply made. We were gonna fill it with stone a lot, but we decided against it. So we just did this. I think it'll be fine. <laughs> so yeah, we did not really go that <clears throat> so yeah big railroad crossing here Josh's track is right there because he had to go to bed and then shortly after I got off I built a pond down here for trains to go across <clears throat> so yeah we're not done by any means but right now this is basically all I have built so yeah and the reason this one's like that is because I screwed up on this one, so, yeah, I might just say some parts on it, but, okay. So, yeah, if you guys really wanted me to do a tutorial on how to make these moving trains, I can do that, because here very shortly I'm going to be building a, another train yard on Xbox, and that's going to have all our train tutorials on it, and this one may be part of it. Now, I may build the train, but not the redstone working one. I don't know. If I do, I'll probably put it on a separate piece of track. <laughs> so I know it doesn't delete like half the other trains. But thanks to Crafty Fox is the reason I have all this. To be honest with you. Because if it wasn't for Crafty Fox, I wouldn't be able to do all this. Now, the train part, I got an idea off YouTube. And I just kind of upgraded it. But, yeah. And for the life of me, I can't remember his YouTube channel. But I think it's in one of my playlists that's public, so it, just go look for the Redstone, Minecraft Redstone Ideas, and it's in there. It should be down there somewhere. If not, I'll just find it and put it up there for you guys to see it. So you guys can play with this too. Which I have the command set and saved to my phone, so I can guys out with that but yeah it can haul things not I wouldn't go for really really big freight cars because it will stretch them like all the way across the track and it doesn't move it just copies and pulls it so basically like say this was your freight car it would be attached to the coupling the train would move but this would be happening <laughs> it would just keep stretching now I mean yeah it'd be deleted when you back up but still it's just annoying so just be careful <laughs> I'm not exactly a pro at it either. It used to be where I could back up and actually couple up to the cars and then delete them afterwards because you can't uncouple them and keep going for whatever reason. But, I mean, it works as it's ended. So, yeah, I have all the redstone wired from the back end and the front all meet up in the bridge. Or the cockpit, whatever you want to call it. No, dang it. So, I also have a thing set up replacing the horn because I don't have one. So, it is currently underneath this. It's a bell. And it's powered by a leather bike in the cab. So, that's how that works. Um, yeah. I'm working on it. That's my design of a logo. I just came up with it. It kind of looks like the AWS VR one, but. Not quite. So, yeah. Joshua says he was a Southern Pacific and Lime Union, because we're not. And, yeah. So, we do a few freight games on here from time to time. Training challenges and stuff, but... Yeah, just a really cool server, in my opinion. So, we can 
Yeah, this is my number one engine, my brand new one. Well, yeah, brand new one. Because my old number one was a train I built off of the store from Crouchy Fox, which if he's watching this, thanks, and huge shout out to him. But it was just too big. I mean, yeah, it moved, but it couldn't haul no more than one freight car because of how big it was. So, yeah, it really, in the long run, was not that good. So, yeah. But I'm going to end up rebuilding that. I have it saved somewhere. But I'll rebuild it, put it in a new world, and possibly do a tutorial on that. I kind of upgraded the paint scheme a little bit and changed how it is to fit the way I wanted it to drive. But, yeah, in the long run, it used to be my number one, and then it was retired, scrapped, and this became my number one. And the number of times I've accidentally cloned it, like half a boat down there or half a train over here, it, I, I lost count. Yeah, it's very tricky, and... I mean, I can just look up command right here, and unless you know what that all is, if you can read it, I don't know if I'm switching it or not, but yeah, that's just the backwards command. <coughs> so, yeah, these are not easy to do, but it's worth it, kind of, depending on what you're using them for. But yeah, so if there's any other questions for this, again, just leave it in the comments, and I guess I'll see you later. Peace out.